reading number 12. When we live according to the moral principles of our faith, those around us may respond in uh, three possible ways. First, they may be so impressed by the example of our goodness and so envious of the joy that it brings that they want to join us and become like us. Wow, that's what you call a good witness uh, when you become a role model and someone wants to follow you. This is the response that we most earnestly desire. Second, they may be indifferent to us because they're so bound up in their own selfish cares and concerns. Although their eyes may perceive our way of life, their, their hearts are blind, and so we're unable to uh, stir them. We don't make any impression on them. And third, they may react against us, feeling threatened by our example, even angry at us. Thus, they will cling even more firmly to their material possessions and selfish ambitions and slander us at every opportunity. Naturally, we dread this third type of reaction because we want to live in peace with our neighbors, regardless of their personal beliefs and values. But if no one reacts to us in any way, we must wonder whether we are truly fulfilling the commandments of Christ. Well, he's not speaking specifically about money and rich and poor the way he usually does, but he certainly uh, pricks at our heart, doesn't it? There are three possible reactions to you, but if nobody ever reacts, are, are you actually living the life? That's something for us to think about this week, isn't it? And I hope you can join with me again next week for reading number 13 from the ancient Christian writings. <laughs>